what's up? Marty Schwartz here, guitarjams.com. Uh, anyway, I'm going to give a tutorial on Day Tripper. Okay, so uh, it's going to be arranged for one guitar um, because George Harrison is playing. And then on the next chord, he's playing the licks through the whole thing while. Uh, John Lennon is um, strumming the chord. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach the main riff and then I'm going to give the, the chord structure of the song. Um, so let's let's do the riff first. The riff is fun. Um, some people want to just learn the riff and not even the song. So let's go with that. Um, okay, here's what we need. Starts with the open E string. Okay, now to get that kind of older sound, uh, I like to use the back pickup. You can even, you know, turn your reverb up a little bit. But basically, the back pickup is going to give you a little more twang, okay? So we start with the open E. And then with my middle finger on the third fret, I'm going to play that note. And then my ring finger into the fourth fret. So here it is. One more time. Then... My first finger on the second fret of the A string. So here's that. Next, second fret on the next string, the D string. One more time. Then that D string open. chord on uh, the second fret of the A string. So first finger on the second fret of the A string and then ring finger on the fourth fret of the D string. Final little phrase first finger back on the second fret of the A string and then the open D string and then the second fret on the D string like a like a little blues lick almost so here's the whole riff Let's get into the verse now. Um, it's uh, got a few bar chords in it, so it's going to give you a little bar chord workout if you're just beginning. Um, you know, if you're really experienced as a player, it's just a cool, fun tune to learn, okay? So here we go. We're going to take an E7 chord, and it's going to go like this. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, A7. One, two, three, four, two, two. Back to E7. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Then it's going to an F sharp minor chord. Okay. So what that looks like is first finger on the second fret, ring finger on the fourth fret of the A string, pinky on the fourth fret of the D string, and then we bar it across. And it goes like this. Three, four, two. Then we're going to go up to an A bar, A major bar chord, first finger on the fifth fret. It goes one, two, three, four. Then a half step lower, we'll call this A flat major. One, two, three, four. Then we're going to go what I call right next door. It's going to be a D flat major chord. So we have our first finger on the fourth fret of the A string ring finger across the sixth fret of the D, the G, and the B string. So 
let's see. Here, here's from the F sharp. Then that same chord down a whole step, which is a B major. Okay, so here are the chords. I'm just going to explain them again. F sharp minor. A major which is on the fifth fret. Same chord, a half step down to A flat major. Same fret now, but now we're next door with the D flat major chord. And then move that down a whole step to B. Right into. Okay, so here it is again. I'm going to just play through the progression one time in a kind of normal speed and I'm uh, you know I'm just kind of giving it a down, up, down 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 up down up down 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 up down up that kind of vibe here we go one two here we go <laughs> day trippers out there come on by to guitarjams.com guitar jams with a z um sign up right here and uh send me your request i want to hear what you want to know uh what do you want to learn what song do you want to learn what riff do you want to learn uh i'm i want to hear from you so and uh you know if you do sign up on that uh, i'm gonna send you uh some material that's not on youtube special because you've decided to be my friend. So anyway, thanks a lot, you guys. And I'll see you next time. All right.